Hello, welcome to an e-demo on Video Intelligence on Illustra Pro. Today, what we're going to do is first of all take a look at the video intelligence capabilities of the Illustra Pro cameras out of the box. We're going to add our camera to a video edge recorder and enable it so that the alarms from the camera come through the video edge and into Victor Unified Client. And from there, we're going to use the alarms to trigger actions in Victor. Okay, so let's first of all open up a web browser and I'm going to navigate to the IP address of my camera and I'm going to log in then as an admin user. Once I've logged in I'm going to choose setup and then I'm going to choose events and actions and then analytics. Okay so in here I'm going to then choose video intelligence and I'm going to choose to enable video intelligence by selecting this checkbox and once we've done that we can go ahead and configure a rule. So to do that I'm going to choose the new rule button and that's going to open up this rule definition pane and then the first thing to do in here is just give our rule a name. Next we can choose to assign one of the event actions which are configured on the camera if we want to do that or we can just leave that empty and we can just use the generation of the alarm to trigger events and actions elsewhere which is what we're going to do. Next we can choose the rule type which we want to configure. You can see we have a number of video intelligence rule types here. What I'm going to do is select object detection because I want to detect when an object has been placed on this table. Moving down, the next setting to configure is the overlap percentage. and We can use this slider here to set that percentage and this is the percentage of the object which must be in the region of interest before this alarm is triggered. So we want to set that around about 20% for this particular example. So that means 20% of any of the objects detected in the scene must be within our region of interest before the alarm is triggered. And then the final settings we can configure on this side are these color filters. We can just select one of these checkboxes to detect objects of that color. I'm going to leave those empty for the meantime because I want to detect objects of all colors. Okay then, so moving over to the right hand side of the screen here, now what we need to do is draw a region of interest and we can use the drawing tools underneath the scene here to do that. So we can draw lines, we can draw polygon shapes or rectangles and then in this draw mode section over here we have the pen tool, eraser and we can also toggle on and off a grid and then these buttons on the far right are to select all of the scene, deselect all of the scene and we can also invert any of our region of interest as well. So I'm going to keep the polygon tool selected there and I'm going to just draw around the table. So I'm just going to start up here, click and drag to draw that side and then I'm going to bring it across the bottom here and then up to the top and then along the top edge. Whenever I join back up there then you will see that that region of interest gets filled in. Okay, so I'm just going to then save this rule and you'll see once I do that it goes up into the analytics rules table at the top. So you can see name, type, we can enable and disable it here using this checkbox and we can also edit it or delete it from here as well. Moving over to our video edge, I'm just going to log in as an admin user. Once I'm in the video edge interface, I'm going to choose the plus icon to add a new device, give my device a name, I'm going to enter its IP address, it's going to keep my security group and all of the other options there as the defaults and choose save. Okay, so that's now gone into the device list and you can see it there at the bottom. And I'm going to choose the gear cog icon over to the right here just to enter the advanced camera settings. What we need to do is we need to configure the camera on this video edge to receive those edge based video intelligence alarms. So the first thing I need to do is change the record mode to record always with alarms. Then I need to choose the edge based video analysis type there from that video analysis drop down. Okay, so I'm going to save that. When those updates are applied, I'm going to choose configure alarms and I'm just going to enable then video intelligence alarms at the edge. So I'm just going to choose edit, choose yes in the enabled 
section there and then save that and you can see the status has gone green and if we just go over to our device list then you'll see that there's a couple of changes here next to the camera so we have that record always with alarms recording mode and we have edge based for our video intelligence type Okay, so moving across to Victor, we're just going to do a quick test to make sure that that alarm is correctly configured. The first thing I'm going to do is just open up the live stream from the camera by double clicking it. And I'm going to open up the activity list by selecting activity from the home tab. And I'm just going to dock this over on the right hand side here so we can see both at once. Okay, so I'm going to place an object on the table here. And you can see then in the activity list we have that object detection alert coming through from the camera to video edge and then into Victor and you can see the name which we configured for the rule detect on table on the camera and we also have the camera name there as well okay so what we're going to do now is configure it so that whenever that alarm occurs our operators are presented with live video from that camera to do that I'm going to go up to the build tab choose event schedule setup and event schedule setup in this editor I'm going to just drag in the camera and you'll see there are a number of alerts and actions pre-configured for the camera out of the box I'm going to go ahead and add another one so I'm going to choose bell icon and I'm going to choose our alert type which is of course object detection and then choose add alerts that's going to go into the alerts column and choose the bell icon here and I want to display a salvo and I already have one of those configured so I'm going to choose display salvo action and pick my salvo action so if we just follow this tree across you can see the camera when that creates an object detection alert the action is to display that salvo so let's save and close that and I'm going to place an object on the table again and you can see there we go there is our object on the table and that has displayed a salvo to our operator.